Lion Messi's $400 million plus dollar family vacation in Saudi Arabia. A photo with the Argentine football icon Lionel Messi and a falcon on his shoulders certainly has a deeper meaning not only for Saudi Arabia's tourism and sports, for world football but for the future of the family of this superstars. Lionel Messi love and passion for Saudi hospitality and the emerging and safe travel and tourism world in the kingdom are more than genuine, and it shows. His second family vacation to Saudi Arabia got him suspended for two weeks by Paris Saint-Germain for an unauthorized trip to Saudi Arabia as the kingdom's tourism ambassador. According to The Telegraph, this may not all be so bad if it's true that Saudi Arabia wants to bring Messi to its Saudi Pro League this summer. This may be worth a deal valued at US$400 dollars or more. With one of the youngest and most progressive populations, Saudi Arabia is a country of fast changes and emerging possibilities. Tourism and sports are two segments that Saudis and foreigners are passionate about. In January, the Saudi Arabia finance minister told CNBC, sports investment is attractive. You won't necessarily get a substantial return on your investment financially, given the high prices they will likely have to pay for a club of that stature. Still, the non-financial return on investment is positive. With Lionel Messi, Saudi Arabia has a genuine tourism ambassador who has shown excitement and attachment to Saudi tourism for over a year. As a soccer superstar playing for Saudi Arabia, he could take this positive vibe far and strong. Argentine football icon and Saudi tourism ambassador Lionel Messi has returned to Saudi for a second time, this time with his family, to experience the country's unique blend of old and new, cultural and cosmopolitan. Messi's visit to Saudi was packed with exciting activities, with something for everyone in the family. Messi was in excellent spirits yesterday, and his new friends and fans in Saudi Arabia went overboard to make him and his family feel welcome. Saudi Arabia's tourism leaders, including His Excellency Ahmed Al-Khatib, and his top advisor, Mexican native and Spanish-language native Gloria Guevara, are equally excited to host Messi. In the meantime, Messi is closely watched in the global sports world, but also by the Saudi Tourism Authority and millions of fans in the kingdom and worldwide. The Saudi Tourism Authority provided an update on this extraordinary family vacation. Lionel Messi joined by his family on his second thrilling adventure in Riyadh, Saudi, experiencing the best of all worlds, rich cultural heritage as well as contemporary lifestyle and entertainment. The family visited the 300-year-old UNESCO World Heritage Site in Daraya, indulged in a fine dining experience at Al Bujairi Terrace, overlooking the beautifully lit at Taraif District, and visited via Riyadh, the Saudi capital's new luxury destination. Hafawa, the warm Saudi welcome that the country is known for, makes it a perfect family-friendly destination. It is easier than ever to enjoy Messi's family-friendly experience through Saudi's extensive and easy-to-navigate tourist visa program and the recently launched free stopover visa. From the excitement of Riyadh to the coral reefs of the Red Sea and the mountains of Asir, Saudi offers something for everyone to enjoy all year round. Saudi is the authentic home of Arabia, and a highlight of the trip was the Messi family's guided tour of Duraya, the 300-year-old historical heart of the country one of six UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and the birthplace of the first Saudi state. At Taraif, a historic city on the outskirts of Riyadh, is one of the world's most historically significant and architecturally impressive mud-brick settlements, dating back to the 15th century. Messi and his family immersed themselves in the history of this unique destination, taking in the Arabian Horse Museum after interacting with some magnificent purebred Arabian horses. Messi was also enchanted by his encounter with a white falcon that rested on his arm. Falcons are a much-coveted bird of prey, and hunting with them has been an integral part of Bedouin history for thousands of years. During the visit, Messi's wife, Antonella Rokutso wore a traditional Saudi hama, a decorative headpiece historically worn by Saudi women from the kingdom's Najdi region. The family enjoyed the opportunity to explore Saudi's history and learn about Saudi's rich culture and were charmed by the authenticity and architecture of at Taraif and the beauty of the Arabian horses. Before the visit to Duraya, the Messi family had also enjoyed an authentic Saudi farm experience away from the buzz of the city. The family witnessed a palm-weaving demonstration against the backdrop of majestic palm trees, a symbol of prosperity in Saudi. The kingdom's palm trees produce over 1.5 million tons of dates annually, 
a central part of Saudi cuisine. One of the highlights of their first day was feeding the indigenous Arabian gazelles that were close to extinction but are now part of an ambitious rewilding and preservation program that has seen the population grow exponentially. Earlier this year, 650 Arabian gazelles and 550 sand gazelles were released into the 12,400 square kilometers of the Alula Reserve, also famous for reintroducing the Arabian leopard into the wild. On the second day of the trip, Messi and his family experienced the modern metropolis that Riyadh has become, where ambitious plans aim to make the city one of the world's most vibrant and dynamic by 2030. Riyadh is widely considered one of tourism's last frontiers. It is mesmerizingly unexpected with its bright city lights, music festivals, and range of cuisine from street food to Michelin-starred restaurants. The jam-packed itinerary gave Messi and his family quality time to take in the sights and sounds of Via Riyadh and Boulevard Riyadh City, experiencing two of the city's ultra-modern entertainment and retail districts. Via Riyadh is set to become one of the world's premier luxury destinations, featuring upscale fashion brands, celebrated international and homegrown restaurants, and seven private, themed cinemas. The bright lights of Boulevard Riyadh City have also made their mark as one of the most popular visitor family experiences during Riyadh season, the city's vibrant outdoor destination that welcomed more than 15 million visitors this year. While Saudi is known for its awe-inspiring desert, the Rub al Khali, empty quarter, the kingdom has a diverse landscape that can be enjoyed year-round, from the UNESCO-listed oasis of al Asa to the pristine coral reefs of Saudi's 1,700 kilometers long Great Red Sea coast, which can be enjoyed by divers and cruise liners, and where the first of 16 luxury hotels will be opening later this year, as well as NEOM's Sindala Island. Saudi also offers the cool, green highlands of Asir where the locals holiday in the summer. The warm Saudi welcome, Hafawa, makes it a perfect family destination. Riyadh, home to around 8 million people, is also one of the top 50 safest cities in the world, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit, making it an ideal destination for families to explore and enjoy. Visiting Saudi is now easier than ever before, with more flights available from more countries worldwide. E-Visa applications through the easy-to-use online portal are available for international visitors from 49 eligible countries. Saudi also announced the launch of a new stopover visa earlier this year. Free of charge and available to passengers traveling with Saudia and Fly Nas, the visa is open to an even greater number of countries than the historic touristy visa and allows visitors to stay in the country for up to 96 hours.